Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here, and welcome back for some more EVE Online and with my uh, small Vorton Projector sk specialization skill, train to five, it is finally time to uh, give the Skybreaker another test. So I went out back to a Mars space, bought the Tech 2 weapons and weapon upgrades, and then I actually ran a first refuge. Oh man, there's actually a lot in this system, and I'm all alone. This isn't low sec, is it? No, it's not. All right, so we are good. Um, oh, it's needing come fortress. Uh, so I ran one refuge and then we got something really perfect i think for the test uh, for um for this ship it is an escalation so we get a sanchez command really a three out of ten let's warp to the location let's preemptively run the uh, shield rep as well we are cap stable with this and so this is what i'm running with here um take two a small vorton projector with for now electro punch i also have some strike snipe with me Take two Vorton tuning system, uh, then we get damage control, quite a bit of resistance, I think. You know, field extender, all right, and reinforcement. I mean, look at these uh, resistances 80, 80, 70, 70, it's pretty damn good. Then we get a small shield booster and a compact afterburner should get us through all of this quite nicely and this was my my dream honestly unfortunately we don't have a second high slot uh, for uh, the skybreaker so we can't put probes on it but uh, for escalations of course we can potentially have some good fun now my optimal range and so my max range is actually 16 kilometers so let's give that a try actually let's start targeting some of these guys and then let's also see if I can fire up to 24. Now you see I click and nothing happens. So I do need to get uh, to uh, the range of, let's just target some more stuff and actually find the true Sansha or the um, commander if I can. Black Ops commander, no. So this, this is also the maximum of my targets. All right, good to know. So now right on landing, nothing is in range, but now at 16 kilometers, first shot, let's zoom out a little bit. <laughs> it's now 10 targets, that is quite a lot. And these first few guys are getting burned quite nicely. So now let's start doing a little bit more targeting of some of the small stuff. Someone else is within 16 kilometers, open fire, blap, and the shots just keep spreading. There is the squad leader, we want to approach him. <laughs> now, complete pandemonium with this Vorton projector weapon system, just everything exploding all around me. I do only have what, like 100 DPS, so not really sure how well it's all going to go, but <laughs> every single bit of the base is also being completely torn apart look at this look at this we just keep going just keep firing shields are doing quite fine that's the black ops squad leader starting to take a real beating and oh man this is just so much stuff <laughs> look at that that the graphics can't even keep up anymore that is nuts have never seen that before all right keep a couple shots going Okay, I gotta zoom out completely. This is <laughs> the Skybreaker in the Sasha 3 out of 10. Completely nuts. Let's just keep going. Uh, destroy the sentry guns as well. And then we get one more Black Ops assassin back there. Let's see if we can take him out as well. This is just so much that has been exploding that uh, it actually pushed the graphics to its limit and it's still going. All right, let's go. Let's do a reload and uh, oof, it's like a real supernova in here. Let's see if I can get the um, overseer. Let's actually do a control F on this. Look at that, down to 24 <laughs> frames per second. This ship actually <laughs> at the moment <laughs> breaks this site and uh, yeah, almost everything is gone except for like a single small pad. Well, let's keep going. Let's get into room number two. I'm actually gonna keep the FPS up. So we finally recovered. We're back at, it's gonna, should get to close to 60 pretty soon. There we go, we're back at 60 FPS. And in room number two, well, we still have some stuff, but definitely a little bit less. That could be good news. And I am a little bit worried by going in. It is a lot of destroyer firepower. So we're just going to slowly approach this guy. And we're actually going to try the strike snipe stuff. Next, see what kind of range we get. Target some stuff here. Range is up to 56 kilometers. So I can now hit everything from range. That's pretty good. And that first shot actually started hitting everything elevators and things like that as well and walls so we're not doing that well um, let's maybe turn around a little bit because then honestly i was thinking is this going to like um 
compete with uh, with the auto track door or something like that well no if you keep hitting so much from these structures that is obviously a very very big drawback uh, for this ship, but let's just keep going and see if we get another rain of uh, explosions to deal with on this one. Definitely targeting that guy. And I'm actually gonna start to fire at him as well. There's the commander again. We're gonna try to escape. Afterburner on, let's go. But uh, he's in range and then everything else <laughs> keeps getting jumped to as well. Finally another target down. Maybe I'll do... Oh yeah, we, we have basically... Uh, plenty of range as well. So here again um, Graphics not used to having all of this stuff being blown up like that That's definitely pretty interesting and did they disengage? No, I'm actually pulling away from all of this So all of that's going like that. We're actually breaking that commander and now he's the only one all right because we've pulled away So let's start to reapproach him a couple more shots and he should be done Now let's see if there's a lot more left so he's been destroyed is it this one overseer wreck yes it is and let's fire at these guys as well so that patrol gets hit nicely it's now away from <laughs> very cool it's currently away from um, from all of the structures and so they're they're taking all of the hits at this point but we don't get the 10 boosts anymore unfortunately so okay oh and i get a nice bpc so we will definitely take that well that's a lesson learned i did not expect this to be a problem but it obviously is a problem um that there is just so much stuff in some of these sites so much small stuff that the Vortron ton projector just like blows up 10 items uh, per shot and it actually <laughs> stresses your graphics card next up we are going to reload the electro punch and i'll show you guys a refuge just to give you that perspective uh this would be something that i think is still doable. we get a couple dents here as well so i'm gonna run one of those two see how that works um, but here we've got we still have a lot of stuff but definitely a lot less of it and then what i can do is i can like orbit this at 10 with the electro punch should still be fine and then you can also like get a quick um click one why not 10 kilometers should be fine oh so it doesn't like me firing at that stuff all right no problem oh indestructible freight pad that's why all right let's uh, fire at the battery here you can see the first bounce very nice hitting the other battery as well and now we get a couple bunkers and things like that so these explosions look a little bit more normal and we actually also oh no no these don't interesting <laughs> um, but, but what is very nice is that we also quite often take some of these targets with us like that let's see first shot half armor second shots just keep going and ooh, okay well we did something <laughs> that kind of broke the graphics uh, of a certain explosion from the looks of it but all right keep cleaning this up here again 45 fps so the cart is clearly struggling with everything that's happening and that's those guys down all right let's get into a den as well see what that's like as all of this does look all right but uh yeah 10 explosions in one go game doesn't like it that much so off to the den uh this test could be interesting as well because we got a couple of cruisers to handle as well so let's see how this will work would be nice if i could also take another orbit on something let's see here Okay, definitely gonna try and orbit this uh, cargo platform let's say at 10 start firing on this heavy one okay it bounces to almost everything this one destroyer did not get hit from this shot that looks so cool though look at that just zap and then pretty much the entire site gets taken down there we go another enemy down easy peasy and we're just gonna keep going after these batteries for now as we're orbiting very good there's the first cruiser that's gonna be a bit more interesting and again 
weird explosion, but alright, cruiser shields are gone, we're still hitting the batteries, that's all fine, I think my orbit may stop, orbit, let's do a 10, and let's see if we can hit this ravager, so there come the shots, alright, well, this ravager is definitely taking a big beating, FPS going down yet again. Blap, next spawn. Alright, just gonna target. Well, actually gonna target some more stuff to see if we can get an idea of the actual damage. Oh, and then I do have to like reapproach because we will get to that 16 kilometers if I don't. But yeah, all small ships are gone. Ravager's armor going down nicely. Now we could orbit that, I think. Okay, another shot. <laughs> that is satisfying. That is definitely satisfying. And once you get rid of all of that small stuff, although we just blew the cargo pad up as well, I think, that I was orbiting. So we're gonna go like this. Let's maybe orbit this guy. Something like that. That's the shields gone, that's the destroyers gone, that's the whole side gone. <laughs> so just a couple more shots, but it's actually doing these, uh, this side pretty well and taking care of these, uh, these uh, cruiser hulls pretty, pretty nicely. Never came into any danger tank-wise or shield-wise, so that's pretty awesome as well. And yeah, it looks very, very cool, although... Uh, you don't want to do this on a, on a rig that can't handle too much because very clearly we were actually taxing the graphics of the client here. Alright, let's see if there's another spawn. There is one more spawn, so I think the best way to go as always is to just orbit at 10. Let's actually first do a full target of everything so that we can take a quick look at the shots here. Let us almost have these destroyers gone. Third of the shields, second shot. They're pretty much in structure and blap, that's all the destroyer escorts that are taken down. And it does take a little bit longer to take care of these uh, cruisers, but we managed to run this. So pretty damn cool. Uh, very, very nice weapon system. I must say uh, I'm a little bit surprised at how taxing it all is when it comes to... Um, uh, all of the extra explosions from the PvE sites, but you can imagine that in a PvP situation, when you're fighting and there's like only one structure on the grid and that's really it, all of these shots going to 10 ships does make for a pretty interesting and powerful weapon system. So that's gonna be it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching and as always, I'll see you next time.